TikToker fakes his own death to find out who cares and then shows up at the funeral. Yeah, uh, maybe that TikTok ban isn't so bad after all. You know, it is becoming a bit of a continuous theme here on the Market Channel that TikTok is home of some of the most strange characters. And for some reason, I'm still shocked when I read headlines like this, like I should probably be used to it by now, but who fakes their own death and then shows up at the funeral just to kind of like send a message that we should maybe like care a bit more. It's a very strange tactic, you know, I'm pretty sure there are much better ways to do this, but either way, let's get into the story, shall we? Now, I was first made aware of this situation when a TikToker called Dylan Page, who does like news TikToks, I literally watch like pretty much every single one of his videos, but a couple of days ago, he actually posted this video explaining the whole situation. Imagine actually doing this. A man in Belgium faked his death and then turned up to his own funeral in a helicopter. I mean, he's got a decent budget behind it, you know? Like, if you're gonna do something so mental, at least put some effort in, so I'll rate it. Stunt to teach his family a lesson about staying in touch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, if someone put me through, like, the pain and trauma of being, like, unbelievably upset that my family member had died and then I just found out that they just lied about it the whole time, I don't really think I'd be listening to their meanings and being like, oh, you know what? That's definitely okay. If anything, you're probably gonna wanna have less contact with them because, I mean, how can you trust them after something like that? Wife and children were in on it and helped him pull it. What? They would even post stuff on social media saying, rest in peace, daddy. <laughs> what the the fuck? Right, I'm sorry, this is the most fucked up experiment I think I've ever seen. Send so out no tweets and Instagram posts in, rest in peace to your dad, who hasn't died, you're just deciding to do like this big surprise thing when everyone's at the funeral and they've already cried for a week. I think that's probably the most shocking part about this, is that it wasn't just one guy's bad judgement here, the whole family thought this was a good idea. For some reason. He explained that he did the prank, if that's what we want to call Saying, it. Saying, nobody sees me, we all grew apart, I felt unappreciated. That's why I wanted to give them a life lesson and show them that you shouldn't wait until someone's dead to meet up with them. I mean, that in itself is a good message, right? You never know what can happen, so make the most out of the time you have and spend time with the people that you love, you know, your family, your friends, everyone. I get that. But the whole, like, pretend you died thing, you know, making them go to your funeral. Probably not the right way to go about it. But it's just a prank at the end of the day, right? I mean, we know that the word prank has had a bit of a definition change over the years. You know, it's no longer putting like a whoopee cushion under someone's seat, making them sound like they farted, you have a little laugh and then you forget about it. No, that's not good enough anymore. There's just been too many pranks over the years, you know? Like, how are you supposed to be unique and original when every other prank has been done? You pretend you died and have a funeral and show up in a helicopter. I mean... It is original, right? Awkwardly, he also said that only half of his family were at the funeral. Oh, fu okay, right. I mean, that's quite sad. I'm not sure if I should have sympathy for someone who did this and put the family through that, but I mean, that is really sad. Like, why are people not showing up? I feel like we need a Netflix documentary or something because there's definitely a backstory to all of this. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of details that I feel like we're missing. But yeah, either way, that was a TikTok that kind of made me aware of this whole situation. But now let's get to the news articles that has a lot more information about this. Oh yeah, and also before we get into the news article, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do try and hit 500k. Uh, I've done that joke like four times now, but uh, yeah, I'll stop. Okay, so we can see what was said in this post from one of his daughters, like saying, rest in peace, even though he didn't die. And she said, rest in peace, daddy. I will never stop thinking about you. Why is life so unfair? Why you? You were going to be a grandfather and you still had your whole life ahead of you. Like, fucking hell, she's actually put a bunch of effort into this to make it seem real. I mean, how are you going to write such like a heartfelt message about someone dying when they didn't die? And bringing a grandchild into it that I'm assuming hasn't been born yet. Maybe one of his daughters was pregnant or something. I mean, I, this is all just so bizarre. I love you. We love you. We will never forget you. I mean, apparently half the family kind of did. Look, I feel bad making these jokes. I feel like I am joking about a dead person, but I'm not. So I'm not really sure where my jokes would lie. Are we allowed to joke about this? I feel like we should be. F1 was waiting for the ceremony to begin, but instead they were met by a landing helicopter. In the video posted on TikTok by a funeral attendee, Mr. Barten stepped out of the helicopter alongside a camera crew and was then greeted by mourners. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> like even just reading this out loud, it doesn't sound like it should be real. I'm not sure what my reaction would be in that scenario. Like imagine if you were actually at a funeral for a family member and then they just showed up in a helicopter. I'm not really sure if you could process that. You'd probably start thinking you're seeing things. Going to be crazy. Like I'd be questioning my sanity straight away. Some of Mr. Barton's family and friends are seen running up to him in the footage amid emotional exchanges, while others remain confused and perplexed in the car park. Yeah, I don't blame them in the slightest. Okay, so here's the original video, right? We can see he's showing up in a helicopter. For some reason, everyone's obviously very confused. Honestly, this is something like The Undertaker would be proud of. Uh, any WWE fans out there, you know, coming back from the dead? This guy really did try to make it a reality. Okay, yeah, so this is what they mean. Some people went over, and some people are like, what the fuck is going on? 
Sorry, I've just read the top comment that says, now we know why people didn't like him. Yeah, I mean, what else has this bloke done? And now he's getting all the praise. Like, do we think maybe he just like, loves a, he loves attention or something? F1's giving him hugs? Maybe that was what it was for. F1 seems so chill about it though. Like, did I not realize that this is a very weird situation? Right, I wish I could understand what they're saying, because obviously it's in a different language, but I can only imagine people are saying, what the fuck is going on? Right, so we have a quote from him here that says, what I see in my family often hurts me. I never get invited to anything. Nobody sees me. We all grew apart. I felt underappreciated. Yeah, I don't think this is a good way to go about it. I don't know, maybe it will work. Maybe they will be a lot closer now, but I feel like I probably wouldn't want to associate with someone who would do something like this. That's why I wanted to give them a life lesson and show them that you shouldn't wait until someone is dead to meet up with them. Yeah, I agree with that, mate. Yeah, probably the only bit of this that I actually agree with. Mr. Barten, also known as Ragnar Lefau. Foo? Oh, God. One day I will make a video where I don't mispronounce something, I promise. Claimed some loved ones have been reaching out to him since the prank, adding it proves who really cares about me. Those who didn't come did contact me to meet up, so in a way, I did win. Yeah, this guy just really loves attention, clearly. God, can you actually imagine, like, not showing up to someone's funeral and then having to apologise to them in person afterwards? <laughs> like, it is a very unique situation. But yeah, I would love to know people's opinions on this. Does anyone actually think this was a good idea? Because I'm struggling to see how. I mean, if we look at the comments on the original video, we've got people saying the ego on this guy must be tremendous. And he wonders why he's never invited to anything. It's all set up because you were not dressed like that at a funeral. That is a good point, you know. No one's actually wearing black. So yeah, maybe it is fake. I actually hope it is fake. Just because I don't want to, like, imagine that people actually do something like this. Because you know how TikTok works, right? As soon as one video goes viral, it becomes a fucking trend. We can't have this being a trend, all right? Imagine the trust issues that people start having if they find out one of their friends has died. Probably wouldn't believe it. And then you seem like a dick because your friends just died and you don't really care. The boy who cried wolf. If he dies for real, people may not show up to his funeral. Yeah, that's probably going to happen at this point. Yeah, like when people are actually made aware of his funeral in the future, there's going to be a lot of trust issues. And they're probably going to have to ask for proof that he's actually died, which yet again is a very weird situation to be in. I mean, we got a somewhat positive comment here. Someone saying, I don't know. There's no winners here. In a way, good wake up call or you should have saved the money. They've shown you your worth for free. Yeah, I mean, at least I guess he knows... Who cares about him? And maybe they'll start being like a tighter family. I don't know, man. I, I would love to know the backstory of what's going on here. But yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on this whole situation. A very bizarre one for today's video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So if you did enjoy, please do a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, if you want to let me know any topics to talk about in future videos, the best way to do that's on my Instagram. It's at Calamarkey. It's always linked in the description. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.